Hi everyone, so I've reached the 1K subscribers. Thank you to all those who subscribed and like my videos. I really hope you enjoy them and that you get some value from them. So once again, thank you very much. I love you. That said, in today's video, we're going to see a very small service that is very promising and I think that once it will be released, it will be able to provide amazing services to the world of creativity when it comes to AI generation. What we're going to take a look today it allows you to take a model image, an image of a model human being, and an image of clothing, and it will combine the two images and generate the model with the clothing that you provided. It's very nice, it's got great things that you can do with it once it will be released. So let's take a look, and I really hope you enjoy this video. Company's name is Human AIGC. And here on their GitHub page, you can read a little bit about this clothing model and it is called Outfit Anyone. And what you can see here is some examples how you can take an original image that will be served as the model and then you can take another image that will be served as the reference for the clothing and the outcome is the model image with the outfit that you've just uploaded. The result seems quite nice and we'll take a look right now to see if indeed what they are promising is what they actually deliver and we can do it by a sample demo that they give us on the Hugging Face website. So let's just open up Hugging Face. Of course, the link is in the description as always. And here it is very limited at the moment uh, due to some uh, concerns for abuse and it is pretty understandable. So. For now, it's closed to specific models that they pre-uploaded and you can see here on the lower side a gallery of the different models that you can test out. And here you can upload two parts for the outfit. The first part can be only the top part or the garment and the second image can be the lower garment. You can also upload only one image and then it will try to fit the entire image into the model and we'll take a look and see how it works. So they do give you here some examples that you can play with and uh, let's just uh, check one of the examples. Let's take this model for example and we'll take this white top garment and this lower gray pants and just click run. And once it is done you can see it generated a very nice simulation of this character wearing the clothes that we've just uh, chosen. And you can see it's changed the image a little bit. If you'll see, if you look at the face of the model, it is a bit uh, twisted. And this is because behind the scene, what it does, it actually uses the images as a sort of a reference image and it regenerates the entire image from scratch using this model. But all in all, the results are very nice. And I can already think about uh, some fun experiments that we're going to do. By the way, uh, from the home page, if you scroll down, you can see some examples of the more uh, non-casual things that you can do. And we're going to test uh, such things as well. Now, this time what we're going to do, instead of using the clothes pieces that they provided us, we're going to choose one image that will serve as a reference for the entire setup. So let's pick a male model this time. And let's see what kind of models do we have here. Okay, so I like this image. It overall fits what I'm about to upload. And this time we're going to upload an image of a, a full male suit. So we'll just, you will just click the drop image here. And from here, we're going to choose this image that I've just downloaded from the internet and we'll click run and see what we get. Note that sometimes due to heavy traffic, you might see uh, a warning like this that the things will take a bit more time. So just go and grab a cup of coffee while it's running. And once it, once it is done, you can see that the result is very nice. Once again, the face is a bit twisted, but I guess that when the model will be released, it will be possible to implement this model inside uh, uh, an interface like Confi UI, and there you can uh, simply fix the face, or you can eventually take this output and import it into a workflow that will fix the face. In one of my future videos, by the way, I will sh I will show how to properly fix faces inside Confi UI. Uh, so this is uh, all nice and dandy, but we want to give it some challenge. And this time, instead of uh, using a simple image of uh, 
standard suit we're going to use something a bit more complex and for that let's choose the female model this female model and as for an image we're going to choose a fashionable dress in the reference image i will take this image that i've just downloaded from the internet not sure you can see the image so let me just show you the full image and this is the full image you can see it's a very colorful dress it's more fashionable and it's not a regular item that you'll probably uh, find in the stores and let's see how the model handles it so we'll just click run and wait for it and as you can see we got a very nice result the ai model was able to generate an image and it understood that the top section needs to be this colorful uh, styling so you can see it tried to narrow the dress and fit it to the model itself which is very nice i have to say and overall i think it did a very good job and it replicated the closing piece very very nicely and this time even the model itself didn't change too much which is good news and now we're going to try something even more challenging instead of using a real life clothing image let's see what happens if we're doing a cartoonish image and see how it handles it so for this instance we'll choose uh, this model and we'll just upload the image this image by the way was generated in Confi UI and I will show you the image as well just so you will have a full reference of the image you can see it's a very simple white shirt and uh, uh, some brown short pants let's choose this image and click run and see what we get so you can see that what it actually did it copied the entire image as an outfit and it literally generated the image of the model with a cartoonish body and i really like the result you can see that it kept the head of the image and the hands of the image and the legs or the shoes of the image with the original reference and it literally copied the entire body the styling into the model i really like the results i think it did a very nice job embedding the two styles together thumbs up for this one and for our next challenge we're going to choose some kind of a texture for the top part and for the lower part and we'll see if the model manages to generate clothing out of these textures so we'll choose this model for this case and on the top section we'll choose this image of this green army style or whatever texture it is some greenish leather style and on the low one we'll choose butterflies and let's see what happens so as you can see it managed to generate the shirt very very closely matching the patterns and colors of the textures that we uploaded and i think it messed up a little bit in the skirt itself but it did manage to generate a skirt let's click run one more time to see what it will generate in another generation so you see that once again it didn't really understand how the butterflies should work so let's try putting another texture of something that is more uh filled and not that white and we'll see if it managed to generate uh clothing from it let's replace the butterflies with something like this red cotton texture and click run and see what happens so it seems it wasn't able to generate a proper clothing instead it just generated this it's it's a bit greenish i'm not sure you can see it in the video but it's got a, a greenish tint uh, and it's a, it's a dress so we didn't manage to use the red cotton nevertheless i think that the previous result was very nice think about the abilities of this model what it allows you to do and just as an example i have this piece of clothing browsed through the Tamil website I could simply upload uh, the images of these catalogs and put them on a model imagine that instead of a pre-made model I could use my own image the ability to preview how a piece of clothing will look on you so if you scroll down you'll see here this demo of using a pineapple as a reference for the clothing and I want to see if it really works but instead of pineapple we will simply use a strawberry so let's go back to this female model and instead of the clothing that we use here we'll simply upload an image of a strawberry that I pre-downloaded from the internet of course and we'll simply upload the image 
all a strawberry and click the run and see what we get. And you can see that it did a very nice job and it literally managed to generate a dress. It's very similar to what it did here, by the way. It seems that it did a dress and it managed to do it quite nicely. You can see the texture of the strawberry and it also embedded uh, this area here, the leaves of the strawberry on her neck. I really think it's a very nice job and we're going to save this image to use later on. And now let's give it another test. Instead of using a strawberry, let's simply use a snake. We'll take this model and instead of using this fruit, we'll upload an image of a snake. And this doesn't really let the model know how we want it to be shaped. But let's see if the model will be able to generate something very nice, something creative with it. Look at that. It generated a beautiful suit and it did the suit with the texture of the snake's skin. And you can see that it did use the correct colors. We have this black area and this light brown area and it did the belt in a light brownish tone and the shirt and the pants in this tight black snake skin. I really like the results. I really like that it literally uses the model as is and it uses the posture and also here you can see that it twisted the face just a little bit but all in all I think it is very, it's a very usable generation and the last thing that I, I want to try here is to see what happens if I upload a piece of clothing that I added my own graphics on it. So what I did is I've taken a, an image from the internet and I simply in Photoshop added this logo of the AI art channel and I'm going to upload it to this model simply by selecting it in here and on the lower part though we'll add this skirt i really like the combination of it and let's see what happens okay so this is the result i really like the shirt the shirt looks amazing but see what happened because we have here this jeans area in the image the model automatically generated the woman with a jeans it did a very nice job and you can see that it generated the jeans to be a long one so it managed to generate a full clothing out of this small piece but what we want to do we wanted to use this skirt and not the jeans so what i did i simply created another version of this image but i cut off the area of the pants so so it looks something like that the exact same image and let's click run and see if it, it's going to do a better job. Okay, so you can see that it, indeed it managed to generate this the brown shirt. Okay, so look at that. It managed to generate the shirt and the brown skirt, but it seems that it also generated a matching stockings, which is quite nice. I actually love the combination that it did. Let's click run again and see what happens. Now that it made a much better generation, uh, this the lower part looks like socks, like long socks or something, and I really like the combination of it. And this is, of course, going to be saved. And I think that this probably sums up what you can do with this model. Just go over to the website and play with it. It's a lot of fun, and I can't wait for this model to be released. So as you can see, the implication of this model when it will be released are very huge. I can already imagine shopping online becoming a much more interactive and much more fun thing to do. Imagine you have your avatar and you click this shirt and this pant and you will immediately see a preview of how those uh, pieces are going to look at you. Uh, it can be for jewelry, it can be for a lot of things. And when it comes to generative AI, it will actually allow you to uh, be consistent with the clothing of your model. So think you generate the same person and you want to generate the same image with the same clothing. It will allow you to maintain this cons uh, consistency and have full control over the clothing of your models. I really hope you liked this video. If so, please like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye.